Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Eight days uh, to the game uh, between Ghana and Angola. And this is the current state of the Babaira Sports Stadium. The NSA posted an update on their social media and uh, they sought to let us know how the pitch looks like after uh, weeks of back bashing and uh, uh, sort of misinformation back and forth, getting the pitch ready, Cap not being happy and all that this is how it looks like is it good enough we'll have a look at it better in today's and talk about it also here from jordan Ayew, after getting his very first goal he assisted in that game as well uh, in uh, the carabao cup efl cup uh, he spoke to the media we'll have a full uh, a conversation on that and what he said and uh, sally sabdo summit yes uh, the news is that sunderland is his likely destination after news came in about a move for him from Montpellier and last season him making so many appearances and now uh, falling down the pecking order we'll look at the future of uh, Ghana's uh, midfield prospect Salis Abdul Samed as usual subscribe if you haven't uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates so give some shout outs today uh, from our previous video that was posted earlier on Andrea Yu it's uh, simon simba uh, thank you so much uh, for your last comment uh, jatwa jatwa <laughs> sorry about that jatwa paleo uh, thank you so much for your comments pardon me if i can't pronounce it uh, also uh, prince kobe appreciate your comment and uh, john autry appreciate your comment as well I think your comments coming in. Uh, I am uh, Bri Bra Lyrics. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for your comment as well. Appreciate it. Uh, Nyako Brown. Uh, appreciate your comment as well. Uh, keep your comments coming in. I uh, appreciate them. Uh, Samuel Kwao. Uh, thank you so much as well uh, for your comments. Appreciate your comments. We'll be giving a shout out here once in a while and uh, we'll see how it goes i'll jump right into it and ghana will be facing angola in eight days time and this is the state of the babaira sports stadium pitch yes the babaira pitch has come under some scrutiny after it was giving out for a church event uh, that left it in a condition that didn't look it. Monday, I brought you the update on the NSA asking for better pictures of the pitch to know to be able to analyze it and see if it is uh, match fit, match ready from daytimes, different angles. Uh, the NSA Ashanti Region uh, Division I posted this video as you can see on your screen and saw at the start of today's video to clarify that the work is in progress in getting the pitch ready in eight days' time. It will be there and ready for, for for a football game. Whether it will be match ready is also another question. Uh, at this point in time, we've not heard anything on the contrary from CAF on whether it will be accepted or not or changed or whatever at the last minute. Uh, but it's a go uh, for the Barbara pitch here. Your thoughts in the comments box on it? Let me know what you think. My next uh, story has to do with uh, uh, Salis Abdul Samed. Uh, Salis is on his way uh, to our to Sunderland. Uh, according to the news from L'Equipe, uh, the transfer window is saying that Sunderland advance on Lance uh, defender Salis Abdul Samed. Uh, he could be loaned out to the championship club. Sunderland are negotiating with the Northness RC Law for him. While some French clubs like Brest or Nantes have tried to move forward in recent days, Salis Abdul Samed is heading abroad. Sunderland is looking forward on a dry loan for the uh, looking forward for a loan uh, for the Lao Mifuda. A full agreement has not yet been reached, but the negotiations are progressing positively. And now last season, Salis played 39 matches for the Lance Jesse. Uh, but he has not played a single minute uh, during the current League One campaign. And it's unfortunate news there on that front for Salis Abdul Samir. An exciting prospect. He's not been the player uh, who earned all the plaudits in recent times. Uh, he, at the last Black Stars game, didn't do as well as we've expected from him in recent times. Salis has fallen down the pecking order. And... Uh, He's going out on loan to Sunderland. Nothing set yet, uh, but we'll see how things progress on that front for him and 
his uh, uh, club side Arsilon looking like Sunderland is the next destination. My next story has to do uh, with uh, Jordan Ayew. He spoke uh, to Leicester City Media after netting his very first goal and assisting. He provided an assist later on in that game. We'll have a listen uh, to Jordan's full conversation with them. Looking forward to the weekend's fixtures and everything in between. And that is how I'll end today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything. Salisius uh, move, uh, the state of the Barbaras pitch and all that. Uh, game is on the 5th of September at the Barbaras Sports Stadium. And then on the 9th, we'll be going to Morocco. Ghana will be, uh, the game will be watchable on GTV Sports Plus. Uh, both games, uh, that is. Uh, let's have a listen to Jordan Ayew and looking forward to the weekend. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Jordan, congratulations. That must be a very pleasing night for you. Your first goal for the club on your, your home debut and your first start and a Leicester win. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really, really happy. Um, the crowd was good to me, so it was important for us to win because we haven't won since the start of the season. So today was very important for us and I think we played well. We won, we scored goals, played some good stuff and, you know, it's good for confidence for Saturday because Saturday is a very big game for us. How pleasing was the goal? It was a, it was a special one, well hit. Yeah, it was a special one. Uh, I thank God that it's gone in, but the most important is that the team, we managed to get the qualification for the next round and hopefully we can get a run. You had one earlier as well that wasn't too far away. You were, you were just getting the sighter in. Yeah, yeah, I know, but as a striker, you need to try and I uh, just tried because they were they were really deep so I said you know what let me just try and shoot from far and luckily today it went, it went my way but like I said the most important thing is for the confidence for the team for us to, to have good a good feeling for, for Saturday. How much did you enjoy your, your new surroundings playing with your new teammates? No I really really enjoyed it especially against Fulham I really enjoyed it even though we lost but I really enjoyed it I feel comfortable they welcomed me very well and I'm really really happy to be here you know um, the most important thing for me is to have a good season as a team and enjoy this season and we have a really good team so I'm really really, really positive about this season and we need, especially we need a crowd as well to back us because the season will be very difficult but we'll have some, some difficult moments but we'll need them to be behind us and obviously the most important thing like I said is for us to put in good performances and the way will come. Just in terms of tonight it felt like you had to be patient Tramia defended in numbers and just waiting for the opportunities to arise. Yeah, you know, this type of games, you know, the first 30, 40 minutes is never so deep. But second half, it opened up, it opened up for us and, you know, we, we played some good stuff, we got goals and you know, I, I hope the crowd they enjoyed it tonight. But the most important thing for us is, like I said, is on Saturday and Saturday is going to be a really, really big game. You mentioned Saturday, you mentioned the crowd. This place will be full, be a, a different atmosphere. That'll be one you're really looking forward to being involved in. Yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to, to being involved. But like I said, you know, I'm, I stay humbled, you know. I'm here for the team, I'm here for the manager. And obviously, if I have my start, fine. If I don't have my start, it's OK. But the most important thing for me is for the, us to win on Saturday because we, we need the points. Clearly, Aston Villa will be a, a different test, a team in the Champions League. Uh, done well in the Premier League already this season. What what challenges are you expecting from them? Oh, it's going to be a, it's a big team. It's not the Aston Villa of four years ago. It's a it's one of the teams who are who are top who are a top six team today. Whether you like it or not, they are top six, and it's going to be a different challenge. But we're up for it, and it's a Premier League. All the games are going to be important for us. So we need a crowd. Our home games we need to. Uh, to be positive, we need to make here a fortress for us and that's what we're going to try and do. 